Hello watch fans, Berthier watches here and this time for you we have a circa 1998 Tag Heuer Sports Elegance Chronograph. This is the Quartz Chronograph and this one is on a leather strap so it has the SEL links to join it to the case and then it joins a strap. The strap is marked Tag Heuer, genuine leather and the buckle has the Heuer logo as well. Screw down case back, these were 200 meter water resistant, so the crown screws down and the crown is signed as well. And then you've got your 60 click bezel as well. Now the most obvious thing is this is a chronograph. Uh, you can see that the chronograph seconds in the center, the white hand is ticking away. The red hand reads the minutes. And then you've got tenths of a second as well. And then you've got constant seconds down at the bottom. So there's a lot going on. If I reset, you see that, tenths of just move around you power it all around and it all lines up we've actually got the minute hand down here so you could see what was going on but everything lines up everything works and you start it again the red hand will stay there until 60 seconds has passed so everything's working good strong click absolutely as it should be sapphire crystal comfortable watch and one of the most recognizable designs of the 1990s this is quite a late one they were replaced with the link models and you've got date down here as well as I say screw down crown so it's quick set date and it's got quite a lot going on as for marks these are sandblasted case or bead blasted or material blasted cases they can show scratches quite easily because of the contrast but this one you know difficult to see you normally see the marks if these are fitted on the bracelet you see it on the bracelet they get desk diving marks but this never has that problem because it's on the leather strap so it's not the bit that touches the desk and as you can see that's now ticked over past to one minute everything's working as it should these are probably still undervalued uh, they were the, one of the i think they were the top of the range at the time and they're not at the moment you pay more for a base model if you found a blue tag hoya thousand you would pay double the price for that even if it's a three-handed quartz watch than you will for the sel chronograph it's just the market it's not it's not influence it's just what people want if you want this then it can't be a bad time to buy it while the rest of the market is still trying to catch up with you thank you for watching if you like what you see please consider subscribing and we'll see you again next time